GE Proton, the community-run Proton version for the Steam Deck, has brought fixes for DirectX 12 games, which is great news for those of you Warhammer fans, for the Division 2 fans, and Death Stranding fans as well. And we're going to get into it in this video. It's a small update video, but I thought, thought we'd, it was worth covering. Anyways, guys, let's get into it. I'm Blaze 2 k Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content on your YouTube homepage every single day. Check out my link in the video description for my favorite Steam Deck accessories, and come follow me on Twitter. All the links you need are down below. Let's get into it. So guys, this article comes courtesy of Gaming on Linux yet again, GE Proton. Now, we've covered this in a previous video where I talk you through how to install GE Proton. Um, it's basically an alternative version of Proton that is updated on a very regular basis, more often than the experimental build on the Steam Deck. Now, chances are, if you're having issues with game performance or just getting games to run, sometimes GE Proton can save your bacon. Um, and it's just a nice option to have and it's super easy to install anyways guys ge proton the new version brings DirectX 12 fixes for steam deck and linux desktop another version of ge proton is already available the third in the space of a week and ge proton 746 includes some DirectX 12 fixes for steam deck and linux desktop the previous release also removed dxvk async a popular patch people were using to improve the shader cache cache stuttering issue for ge proton 746 here's the games that had their DirectX 12 mode fixed now this this game, Division 2, was a big pain point for a lot of people that were trying to play on the Steam Deck. Now, there was ways around disabling DirectX 12 on it to get it to run, um, but they were a little bit time consuming and just, ugh, I wouldn't recommend it. But now, thanks to GE Proton 746, we've got a fix and the Division 2 should run just fine without that stuttering. Um, Death Stranding now properly fixed and Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide now fixed as well so go get GE Proton installed it's a piece of cake and um, go watch one of my previous videos talking about how to do that it's you need to do it um, it's nice having that option of switching between versions of Proton and like the article says like um, Liam says here it gets updated multiple times a week at, in some cases all right it's had the third update in the space of a week so this is pretty awesome and it's good for you know good for new games as well that come out right that have some issues here and there as i spoke about in a previous video i downloaded f122 uh it was, it was marked as playable verified on the steam deck i purchased it it couldn't even launch um because apparently ea updated their game launcher broke all support for ea games but i downloaded ge proton and boom it got it working and i could have done i sat there for like a week or two mulling it over wondering why it wasn't working when it was marked as playable um until i read someone's tip to go download ge proton i tried it it ran fine performance was better than it was before ge proton is awesome um so there we go so there we go guys um thank you for watching the video go check out gamingonlinux.com and um yeah, if you want more Steam Deck content on your YouTube homepage, even if it's small news updates like this, I try and get them out, even if it's a slow news day, please like, and more importantly, subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified when a, when a new video goes live. Check out my list of favorite Steam Deck accessories down below in the video description. I put a link to an Amazon list page with all the favorite accessories that I recommend. Um, some expensive, some super cheap. Go check them out. You might find something you like and bookmark the page because I'm always adding stuff to it. Okay, so I'm always adding the best of the best steam deck accessories so you can deck out your steam deck and make it awesome and come check out my twitter account because i'm posting on twitter every single day come join me over there come say hi talk about steam deck it'll be a fun place to hang out and if you want to join my streams every day at 3 p.m eastern my twitch link is down below in the video description but i also stream here on youtube every day at 3 p.m eastern um members only mode on mondays um so be aware of that if you can't post in the chat room it's probably because it's a monday or it's a late night stream and i usually put members only chat on for that time um so there we go guys have a wonderful day thank you for watching my videos today i love you and i appreciate you i'm blessed okay have a blessed day and enjoy your steam deck because it is the best handheld ever in my opinion take care bye <laughs>